be all right. Just keep me on the rotary one. Yeah. I'm going to break first. Otherwise, I'll start doing Columbus Pledge. Yeah, baby. Oh, man. Could you start in Miami? In Miami. Yeah. Need a motion to approve the minutes of the last regular council meeting, which was 3 12 18. We have a motion by Mr. Hall and we have a second by Mr. Neal. Call the roll, please. Canada? Yes. Hall? Yes. Lewis? Yes. McGuire? Yes. Neal? Yes. Short? Yes. And Taylor? Yes. Thank you. We probably have no citizen request. First item on the agenda Mayor's report. Motion to accept amended notice of meeting dates for the City Council error due to Veterans Day. Uh, what that is, we actually have a uh, tallied sheet that goes out to all the news media, uh, notified people that uh, of the agendas and stuff like that. We need to amend that and make sure we got it right. I'll say that. Call roll, please. Canada? Yes. Paul? Yes. Lewis? Yes. McGuire? Yes. Neil? Yes. Short? Yes. And Taylor? Yes. Thank you. We do need the announcement of the spring cleanup by Bulldog for the weeks of May the 7th and then the week of May the 14th. There will be uh, flyers put out. We will have something uh, listed in the newspaper. Um, we just want to make sure we have plenty of time to get it out there. Next item. Motion to accept road closure for the Superman celebration beginning at 5 p.m on Wednesday, June the 6th, and remain closed through 7 p.m. Sunday, June the 10th. The streets included are Market Street from Superman Statue through the alley between 8th and 9th Street, on 7th Street blocking from the parking lot drive of the fire station to the backside of Hillebrand's Automotive, on 8th Street, from the backside of the fire station area to the drive through at the old Bantera Bank. On 6th Street, from the drive driveway of the detention center to drive through at Allegiance Bank. I'll make a motion. It's a good thing, I know. Because we just we just keep expanding, you know, and uh, that that is a that is a good thing, uh, you know. That, that shows at least we're doing something right, you know. It's we're filling up all the space and uh, and go from there. There will be probably something coming back to you later on uh, on the riverfront. We've not been notified uh, yet of anything pertaining to the uh, the carnival, uh, but I'm sure they will. Get that out. So, we do have a motion by Mr. Lewis. We do have a second by Mr. Neal. Call the roll, please. Canada? Yes. Paul? Yes. Lewis? Yes. McGuire? Yes. Neal? Yes. Short? Yes. And Taylor? Yes. Thank you. And everything here is just, uh, like I said, just a part of the job. It's well done. Uh, the many volunteers and the uh, people that uh, take their valuable time to make sure that each and every one of our thing, and we will start. Uh, we have a spring clean thing that's coming up here in the next uh, May 5th, I believe. Yeah. Uh, and, and they did, the ladies did tell me today that they have uh, more of those vendors and stuff like that. They've got a lot more than they had last year and have quite a few new ones, which is another good thing. So uh, I think that's all. Uh, I've got something that Harry comes up to uh, mention, but uh, corporate council, you have anything in open session, Mr. Abel? The only thing I want to mention, I laid this in front of you. I just got this today. Uh, we, uh, the IMEA, IMUA, uh, UA is the Utility Association, EA is where we purchase our electric through. Uh, they have combined, and they have a one annual conference now instead of separate annual conferences in Springfield. 
This is a really good program. Um, it's free. Uh, they actually provide virtually all the meals we have while we're there, too. Um, the only way to pay for is our hotel rooms. Um, Tony and I have been several times to the UA. In fact, last year's the first time we, we hadn't gone in several years. Uh, EA, uh, I've gone every year. The mayor's gone some years. We've even had council people go. But they have a, on Friday, June the 1st, they'll have two, two sets of programs. They'll have a set of programs for policymakers, and so for that, they encourage us to bring aldermen or mayors. Um, they'll also have a set for utility workers, too. So they encourage us to bring some of our um, supervisors and uh, key people to that. Um, but uh, right now, um, you know, the reservations aren't open. They'll open probably in, oh, probably two or three weeks. But uh, if you think you might be interested, go ahead and mark it on your calendar. It's, it is, it is a Thursday good. and a Friday, and we usually come back on Friday uh, afternoon. Friday afternoon. Or we have stayed through Saturday morning a couple of times. Well, that's when it was. Old, that was when it was the old way. That was the old way. Back on Friday. Yeah. 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 So we just need to know. We just think about it. If it's something you choose to uh, just let us know. Committee reports. Mark and Rick, Mr. Taylor, sir. Just seems like we were just doing that. Just <laughs> minute, <laughs> okay, Parks and Recreation Committee had a meeting this evening and discussed a couple of items. And among the discussion, we were uh, making a motion to accept. And, the, and extending the morning contract for 2018 to uh, Mr. Summer. Sorry, I'll say okay. We have a motion by Mr. Taylor and a second by Mr. Canada. All the roll, please. Canada. Yes. Paul. Yes. Lewis. Yes. McGuire. Yes. Neil. Yes. George. Yes. And Taylor. Yes. Thank you. And also, I'd like to make a motion to accept advertising, accepting applications for lifeguards and staff at the Metropolis Swimming Pool from April 2nd through April the 13th, 2018. I'll second. Motion made by Mr. Taylor, second by Mr. Lewis. <clears throat> Call a roll, please. Canada. Yes. Paul. Yes. Lewis. Yes. McGuire. Yes. Neil. Yes. Short. Yes. And Taylor. Yes. Thank Chris, you. you have anything you want to add to that committee? That's all. It will be uh, here very shortly, uh, and it, it, it is it is going to start growing. You know, the sun is going to shine. You know, it always has, and I believe it will. And, uh, when it does, uh, the grass is going to start growing. Uh, all the sports things for. Uh, the many, many, many young people that uh, Chris's department uh, supplies for our community, not only our city, but our county. You know, it's not only in the city of Metropolis, it's Massac County included in it. Uh, I think every, uh, I think the soccer uh, program is, is, is as big, if not bigger, than it was last year, which is a tremendous thing for the young people and things like that. Uh, baseball programs and stuff like that will be starting here very shortly. Uh, and it seems like when it starts, it just all starts at one time, and it's every night for uh, people like uh, Mr. Lewis that's got young uh, children that actually in that. I mean, it's something going on every night in the community of Metropolis. Uh, don't know yet about the uh, football program and stuff like that. Of course, that's a fall type thing. Uh, but anyway, uh, the, the very good thing about, we, we got football goals setting up there now. They're not hurting a the thing. They don't need anything they're paid for. And we were fortunate enough that uh, of our good neighbors from Lafarge Corporation actually donated uh, rock, uh, a lot of rock, and we were able to uh, rock that football uh, parking lot there. If they, if they never have a football game there, uh, it is much needed parking for the soccer association. So, uh, if it ever comes where they're all going to be playing at the same time, we got a problem out there. Uh, but anyway, uh, and then, uh, like I said, we do have uh, some more rock coming uh, from uh, Lafarge. That as soon as the weather straightens up a little bit more, they can uh, start hauling again. So, uh, we'll recap what we've got there. But we do to. Uh, 
I want to send a thank out, thank you out to Lafarge for uh, uh, all the rock that they actually uh, brought to the city metropolis. We, we all need it, and we appreciate it. Department heads, wait, let us do this water line street. Yeah, since we already done that. <laughs> Water Line Street Committee had a meeting prior to this one. Now that meeting, I'd like to make a motion to advertise and accept applications for temporary seasonal public works labors from March 27th through April 6th. Second. Motion made by Mr. Hall, second by Mr. McGraw. Call roll, please. Canada? Yes. Steve Hall? Yes. Lewis? Yes. McGuire? Yes. Neil? Yes. Short? Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Also, I'll make a motion to accept repairs to the stoplight of Fifth Ferry Street in the estimated amount of $6,000 from FW, with 50% being reimbursed by the IDOT. I'll second. Motion made by Mr. Hall, second by Mr. Lewis. Call the roll, please. Canada? Yes. Paul? Yes. Lewis? Yes. McGuire? Yes. Neil? Yes. Short? Yes. And Taylor? Yes. Thank you. That's all from Waterline Street. Thank you, Mr. Hall. Department heads. Mr. Massey, sir. Um, there's a, Ken, Ken brought up to me a program or a, a phone number that he has that uh, it's like a status information hotline and uh, sort of like the Nixle thing until that gets put up but this could also be a number that the public could call into it won't cost us anything um, and we can do updates and, and informational type stuff on that um, it'd be password protected so some knucklehead just couldn't get in there and put some goofy message on there but um, we'll um, yeah, it's an augment to the Nextel system. I talked with Keith about it, and he said the company that has that system says that not many people will call for additional information, but if only a few percent of thousands of people that are potentially on that system call the police dispatcher, uh, they're going to get swamped with calls. It could be 50 or 60 calls within a few minutes. And like, like Harry pointed out, this won't cost the city anything other than the time to maintain it. It's got room for 10 different messages. And the menu system you can control it says press one for information on Harris, press two for the 12th Street closing, that kind of thing. And it's really easy to maintain and set up and do. We like it. So I'd like to. Uh, is this something that we need to wait on until we get the new phone system in? No, it runs independent of your phone system. It's on my server, and it's that's a 524 number doesn't come to one of your servers it's on my server and that server can take potentially hundreds of calls at the same time and won't tie up any of the lines into the, the police department or the city hall or anything what you're saying is uh, mr. Novak is that instead of uh, us calling 2310 and tying up the police line just for the information we call this other number yeah and the, the, main agree, the main announcement number will repeat the phone number that they just called. They call the dispatcher at the police department. They can transfer the call to this number. And, okay. and the messages can be as long as you want. Well, we won't let Greg record them because he talks so much. <laughs> <laughs> the message can be pretty much as long as you want. But the dispatcher itself, though, if they do call the police department, they can transfer and that will free up the line to yep. the police station. Yep, exactly. And that over time, the people that like to call and find out what's going on will learn to call that number directly. Could you give us some more information for another uh, meeting of the uh, police or something other so we can vote on this yeah, next time? It, or do you want to do it, it now? It well, it's ready to go now. Sir? I said it's ready to go now. Good. We got the rules of training of, of whoever's going to maintain it. Uh, probably the police. Uh, that's what I was wondering. I mean, you know, we don't have no particulars. There's no money involved in the city. Yeah, it doesn't cost anything. It's yeah. something that you, you're going to take care of, Harry? Yeah, I mean, I can take care of it. Ken can take care of it. If you, It's sort of like our message board sign. It's just another tool in the toolbox where anything that we know that's going on, like the Superman Festival <clears throat> celebration, we can tell them the carnival is going to be held. You know, these are the hours, and it's going to be held at the riverfront by the lighthouse or 
12th Street project's going to be starting. Avoid it, you know. Uh, spring break starts. Watch out for the kids. Right. Or, there's no contracts or anything like that. No, I'm not against anything. It makes it easier for the people that work for us and, and the uh, community to make sure that they're. Uh, if, it, if it doesn't work, we don't like it. We just drop it. Pull the plug. All right, I make a motion we go with that system with uh, Commissioner Massey in charge. Oh, well, we don't have it on here for a motion or anything. We can just authorize them to go ahead and do it. There's no cost at all. Yeah. What's the phone number? Yep. Yeah. It's a 618 number, 524-2129. Now, how are we going to get this word out? To the people. Well, uh, well the company will be in the paper. And uh, it'll be on our Facebook page, the fire, or it'll be on both the fire department and the police department's Facebook page. And we'll pick um, it up and we'll put it on the share it everywhere. Right. And what, and what is this going to be called? We have that neighbor. We got it. What is this? What is this going to be called? What is this? I call it status information hotline. Information hotline. Hotline. Yeah. Oh. Hotline. Yeah. All right. Some information with a little hope or something in the kiosk up there would be yeah. helpful too. Yes, it would. Yeah. Or, a little sign or something up there. Like I'll if someone calls the police department to see if the power is out, I know people do that. Yeah. See, that can take us, it might take us a few minutes to get the status hotline up. <coughs> the police department is still going to get that. But we'll, we'll, we'll tell them, for instance, updates and stuff will be put on that, you know, instead of calling us back every hour asking if we know. Okay. Okay. If we can get them trained, it will free up the dispatcher yeah. in emergency situations a lot. Right. Uh, It'll free up you know, like siren that. testing, stuff yeah. like that. You know, I mean, the possibility, and, and it's not going to replace what Chad's project is. As a matter of fact, yeah. it's going to supplement it because we can use that to say, piggyback. to piggyback on it, you know, mm -hmm. updates would be put on the status hop. Well, when the power goes off, I mean, if you've ever been to the police station, you yeah, know what great. it is there. Uh, my office, uh, Every line's buzzing, and Jan's office is the same way. Uh, if it if it took just a third of those calls away, it's going to read. You know, it's going to be better. So, all right, have at it. Thank you. Of course, you all heard about Sergeant Manley. Yeah, I was just going to ask you to uh, Officer Austin. If you hadn't heard about it, we had a house fire on Second Street um, last weekend. Carl happened to be by Big John, so it was on Second Street. So he got the, he was the first car there. Um, initially, the call came out for the fire that uh, everyone was out. As Carl was turning on the second street, we got an update that the wife was still inside the house. Um, when he pulled up, the fire department still hadn't arrived, and the husband was obviously frantic and said that uh, the wife is in the living room. He believes he could see her through the window before the smoke covered everything up. So Carl went up to the window, thought he saw a hand, so he used a Went back to the squad, grabbed one of the fire extinguishers, broke the window out, and uh, reached in, found her hand. By that time, Dan Austin arrived. Um, she was burning up. By the time they pulled her out, I mean, it's kind of gross, but the skin was peeling off her mm -hmm. arms as they were pulling her out the, the window, and she was gasping for breath, and her lungs and nose and all the stuff was full of smoke. Um, they did a great job, and then the fire department got there, and the ambulance people got there, and they She's been flown to Vanderbilt. Um, she's had, I believe, three surgeries now. I really can't talk about HIPAA, but she's had three surgeries and she's alive and she's talking and she's got a long road ahead, but she's alive. So the big concern is infection now because of the burns. Mm -hmm. Was Don there too? Was Officer Hal there? Yeah, he got there. He got there also. I he thought so. Too. I, he was telling me about some of it yeah. too today. That's why I wanted. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was uh, Manly in Austin that did the actual rescue and then. Uh, Helm got Helm there and helped with the first aid. Yeah. The, am a, the ambulance <clears throat> was delayed a little bit for some reason. I, I, I don't, I'm not sure the whole thing on that, but we don't want to. Uh, you know, I, I've I, submitted them obviously yeah. for awards. There was uh, another in instance uh, the same week, uh, not liberty to talk about some things and stuff like that. And, uh, but it was a, uh, it wasn't the police department. It was actually the uh, first responders. It was actually. Um, a tremendous help uh, in a rescue. Uh, so we we do want to thank our trained personnel. You know, there's not there's not hardly a day or a week goes by. I guarantee there's not a week goes by that some from the police department, the fire department, even public works, 
And in the, in the summertime, it's the same way in Chris's uh, uh, pool down there. There's not a day goes by that there's maybe not a, uh, you know, somebody that's, at, uh, that's at, at the stage of a loss of life. But there's any time you've got uh, uh, 300 children running around, you're always Three taking me every day uh, <laughs> uh, that, that something is going to happen that's not real good. So uh, we, we want to thank our... Uh, just two days ago, you guys don't know about this one yet either. Two days ago, a guy slit his wrist, uh, was on the front porch, he had a knife in his hand. Sergeant Laird, uh, Officer Corey, and Hamilton were on the scene. Hamilton was trying to negotiate cigarettes to put the knife down. Um, thought it was working. Uh, Sergeant Laird had snuck around the house, so he had he was able to come up behind him on the porch. And all of a sudden, the guy said, that's it, I'm going to plunge this knife into my throat. And as he stood up, Bruce hit him with the taser. Um, knocked them out, and we got them into the mental health. So. Wow. It's a good thing. Yeah. I'm busy. All right. uh, <laughs> I'm back. Uh, Stoney, did you have anything for the good and cause? <laughs> Not after that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Briss. I was just going to say, uh, if you have any questions from your constituents, the merry-go-round for Washington Park is in the process of being made they make this is the company that makes them and they're making it right now as soon as it's ready they'll ship it this way and we'll get it installed yeah. and the the fence across from jill and brandon's yeah. house on 19th street <laughs> is being repaired right now so the the women in that area will be happy Good but it's you know it's kind of suffered some <coughs> uh fallen tree limbs through the years and so it, it's going to be fixed by Jones Fence out of Paducah. They're the ones that originally installed it, and they were the best best price on repairs. So those two things are being handled right now. Old business. New business. Miscellaneous reports. Financial reports. Payment of salaries, payroll, and contract bills. I'll make that motion. Mr. Hall. I'll second. Mr. Lewis. Call the roll, please. Canada? Yes. Hall? Yes. Lewis? Yes. McGuire? Yes. Neal? Yes. Short? Yes. And Taylor? Yes. Thank you. Payment of miscellaneous bills. I'll make that motion also. <coughs> second. Motion made by Mr. Hall, second by Mr. Neal. Call the roll, please. Canada? Yes. Hall? Yes. Lewis. Yes. McGuire. Yes. Neal. Yes. Short. Yes. And Taylor. Yes. Thank you. We do have this uh, this Wednesday at uh, ten thirty. Ten thirty. Uh, we are having our quarterly uh, communication citywide communication meeting for all of our employees and everything like that. Uh, we do invite each and every alder. Uh, feel free to come by if you choose to. Doesn't have to if you don't want to. Uh, lunch, we will have lunch. We will have a slide uh, presentation and uh, lots of good information. So feel free to come by on Wednesday. Uh, it'll last till about 12 ish, someplace yeah, around there sure. at the community center. Uh, there was a thing tomorrow night that was uh, for a tax seminar, something with uh, Miss Natalie uh, Elps was canceled. Uh, it will not be there. It was on Wednesday night, not Tuesday night, but Wednesday night. So uh, she did call a day and cancel that. So we do have the need for an executive session. Did you decide? Yes, person, personnel, collective bargaining, and sale, lease, or exchange of real estate. Yeah. I'll make a motion. I'll I'll second. Second. Canada? Yes. Paul? Yes. Lewis? Yes. McGuire? Yes. Neil? Yes. Short? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Yes.